Hello guys, here is Bayan again. In this video we're gonna show you how to install a power bar on a kitchen island. And we will install the bar right there. Something like this. And let's work. Yes, is this a recording? Before we get into the video, I'm just gonna say sorry for the bird. We have a couple budget. Then you will be making a little bit of noise, just to let you guys know. Sorry about it. We have a Dewalt drill, 20 volt, good piece to have. Bit is a wood bit, an inch and a quarter wood bit. So we're gonna cut to MDF for wood. And else we're gonna be use a drop sheet. It's just a regular drop sheet. We just want to have a place to protect the floor a little bit and have a place to put the tools on top. We can use this tape, the electric PVC tape. This one is a double side tape, so it has glue on both sides. We're gonna glue the power bar on the counter. We have this power bar, brand new, We're looking good. With, uh, we have a two USB or We have the solder knife. Or Alpha tool that you cannot go without it. This is number one tool to any type of job. We're gonna have a video coming up with my favorite tools and I love them, they are great. Please subscribe and give your thumbs up. Put a like on it, thank you. Let's work. Yeah, we just plan to just make a hole somewhere in there. We will install the bar right there, something like this. I'm just gonna give this place some protection in case some tools just fell off. First, we gotta move the stove. We move the stove that way we have enough space here, like you guys can see. We have a lot of space so the wire not gonna be close to the back of the stove. And I show you here what we're gonna do down here. This here is the 110 volt power supply that we have in here. So we're gonna connect the power bar to this one. To plug for the oven, 220 volt. This is the gas line. The C stove use the gas and use the 220 electrical power. So we have everything is in here. All we need is to set up that uh, power bar connect to this one. We can plug it right here. Okay, right now we are on the other side, the opposite side of the stove. We're gonna set up this bar right on the center of the, the cabinet. We're just gonna take some measurement. gonna be right there because I need this wire to to make the loop I'm just gonna make this hole about there there we go okay so we just do like that I'm just here in front of the stove, I'm gonna just plug it in and let's proceed. Okay, so we're just gonna plug it in and uh, we're pretty much on the way. Okay, let's go to the other side and set it up before we push the stove back on place. Yes, before we continue, I just want to test to see if this is working. Let's do it. So we plug it in, turn this guy on. There you can see the power. It is work. I turn this guy on, it's work. So yes, I just gonna put this just for the extra protection. We don't want the cable to be tightened that all the time. Some protection to it. Double side tape we have in here. Just gonna put it on. Okay, 
There we go. We have the double side tape in here, nice and clean to go. Right there. Be okay. Should be right where we want it. Now we just put the tape in here to make sure the wire is is tight to the back of the stove. There we go. Let's make sure this is not tight and sharp corn. Everything looking good. Okay, we done it here. It all looks good. Work perfect. Now we can charge the phone, can plug stuff and USB. This piece looks great. I'm very happy with the result. Nice and easy and work great. We're gonna have some good stuff coming up. Just uh, keep your eye open and we'll be right on top of it. Thank you very much and see you soon. No more? No more.